Hi, this is our video on website usability. That's digital speak for making it easy for visitors to find what they're looking for and accomplish what they want. We'll go over the best ways to improve usability from providing a simple and clear navigation to the importance of a consistent layout. We'll also explain how your writing can make your site more effective. Right, let's get stuck in. First, let's look at navigation the stuff that guides visitors around your site. Good navigation means arranging your site in a way that makes sense for your visitors. Let's say you have a physical shop, like a bakery. You need to think about how your goods are grouped there. Big items like cakes and pies might be in one area, whilst individual treats like croissants and cupcakes might be in another. On your site, you can organize things in the same way and have the main menu navigation tell visitors what they'll find in each section. It's like signs on your shop. In spite of all of this, your site might not make perfect sense to everyone. That's why including a search box might be a good idea, especially if your site has lots of pages or products. Put the search box in the same place on every page of your site so it's easy to find, and visitors who are in a rush will always be able to find it, whatever they're looking for. One last thing to consider about navigation. When people visit any site across the web, they expect things to work a certain way. Say you're browsing a site and you want to get back to the homepage. What do you do? You click on the logo, right? This is something visitors will expect, and it's common to nearly every website. So make sure your logo is clearly displayed on every page, and that a click on it will take them home. Right, that's navigation sorted. Now let's talk about the style and the way your site looks and feels. Everyone has their own taste, but there are some general guidelines to follow. First, consider your page layout. It should be consistent across your site with similar fonts, images, and other design elements. When it comes to color, you may be inclined to go bold and grab attention, but online, most people are used to reading dark text over a light background. You've worked hard to create your content, so make sure your visitors' eyes don't cross when they're trying to read it. You also need to be conscious of where on the page your content ends up. Don't make people scroll down too far to see all the important stuff. Use headers and bullet lists to help them quickly scan the pages to decide if it's worth their time to stay. Write for your audience. Are they a highly technical bunch? If so, then jargon is A-OK. -okay. Otherwise, write for the everyman. Another tip, encourage visitors to take an action when visiting your site. This is called, can you guess it? A call to action, and it can help them understand what to do next. If, for example, you want them to pick up the telephone, tell them to call now. If you're hoping that they'll pay you a visit in store, point them to get directions. Or nudge them to make a purchase with a buy now. When you're creating a website, you need to make it easy to use. Give visitors a clear roadmap of your site's pages. Keep design consistent throughout. Write content that speaks to their language and give them an experience they're actually looking for.